So tonight we've got a pot bonus of $75 and along with everyone's entrance fees, first place can take home like 80 bucks, second place can take home 40, third 22, and fourth can take home 13 in Dragon Ball Fighters. It's nice when we get enough people and have enough money going to be able to pay out top four. Most of the time, you know, pay it around top three. So it's, uh, it's really great to see the community really coming out, getting into this game. Uh, everyone's really leveled up from last week, so I'm really excited to see this. So we are going to have Sega. Oh my goodness, it is all caps locked. This is rude. Okay, so we got Segatron versus Glacial Rain. Score set up. Okay, they are going to hop right into it. So let's get back to the game scene. <laughs> Glacial Reigns, and then he has to piss really bad. Probably should have done that. All right, let's get into this one. So already, this is an early beam assist going to uh, I love the fact that Sega Tron is using Vegeta Blue. Uh, it can give me a lot of tips on that. So I'm really excited to see. Um, he can do a lot of things off those Rekkas, but he's just going to go for some nice, just typical air combo here. Get a turf and go for a little speed. That Cell is definitely coming in flat. Uh, for around Vegeta Blue. Ooh, so great job of uh, getting himself out of the corner, but Sega Tron, not a big spend in order to bring him back that way. Ooh, okay, so Glacier Ray trying to go for the Dragon Rush in the corner. I expect that Sega Tron would not be pushing buttons, but, you know, this is Dragon Rush. We're going to push buttons. That snaps good move back in. Uh, calls the beam assist, but we have cross up protection out here, so that doesn't necessarily work. And now I'm going to get a co commentator How's it going, Mark? Oh, it is going great. What's going with you? Pretty good, pretty good. Stone winner, so... Yeah, I saw that. You're having a nice run. Yeah. Uh, it's totally shaky, but... Let's see. We'll kick it off. <laughs> so, yeah, we got... Uh, Glacial Rain. Sega. <laughs> Preaching the word about the good Ginyu. Yeah, Ginyu is really nice. Uh, it's hard to set up stuff in neutral, but once he gets going, he just shits all damage. Doesn't really matter when you eat a big bang attack right to the grill like that. <laughs> oh, right. So we're talking to neutral now. Psychotron putting in his cell. Okay. That's gonna take the damage off that. Nice! <laughs> Does a 360 or 180. Which gets the dragon punch that he wanted. What's going to do? What's the chance up? Oh, never mind. She uses the opportunity to bring in Goku back. Yeah. Now we have the typical matchup that you're going to see 97 times. Yeah, nice 2 HE response to the vanish there. He's gonna get a knockdown. Just uh, doesn't get anything off. So. Damage. I actually managed to get the cross up before the cross up protection kicked in because that uh, that Vegeta is just very slow. Yeah, another good two H on point of his anti airs. Megatron had a lot of fun with it. Took back from last. Yeah, he's got one character. Yeah, I find in this game, if you have one character, uh, it's really hard to come back. Because you have, even if you spark it, they can just time out your spark for three characters. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's this game. You know, throw assists, yeah. block, just... And then, like, if you have, like, one character with, like, no sparking versus two characters with sparking, like, actually pop come back. Also, also yeah, like, is he gonna... Yeah, there you go. So it just goes right through the sparking region anyways. Or did he even... He, he didn't. didn't. Yeah, he didn't do it. Whoops. He did not give him the chance. I think he was waiting for a chance to get a hit, uh, try and do like a like a sparking combo or something like that. But sometimes it's better to just do it. You know? Yeah. It's, it's tough because you don't want to spend it early. Otherwise, you just you can lose the game outright. Okay, tries to go for a uh, dragon rush setup, but does it too early, so it whips. I'm really glad that Second Town is sticking with using the Vegeta Blue. I mean, he's it's not that great, but he's, he's got some things. Yeah, I think, like, no characters in this game is, like, bad. They're, like, you know, they, there's, like, some characters who are, like, you know, have less faith than other characters, but every character is viable, I think. Oh, purple. There we go. Just cast it. Oh, just tags out, but he catches the alpha counter. No, uh, convert off it, though. Man, this should be, uh, this should be a cap game. Yeah, oh, okay. I think he meant to do, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what always. Nope. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice jump bust though, or jump beat. 
Okay, so made the homing gun to miss there. Uh, just, just out of position. Yep. Okay, there we go. 50 reset pressure. Nice block. Calls the assist to get the pressure still. Very nice. And he's managing all over the place. Both of them sitting on a decent amount of meters, so they yeah. can afford to do that. Nice block on the manage. Oh, that's plus, but he can press the button anyways. A little bit of a stare down. You don't see that very much. Yeah. There's a kill right here. Oh, spend an extra meter just to uh, ensure the kill. Just spending all of it like it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I mean, you want to you want to secure the kill. Leaving him alive. Leaving the character alive in the game feels good back, and then they just tag out. And then they just get that health back, and you wasted all that meter. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna spend a couple of meter here. Back to neutral scenario. Blazing Ray sitting on a lot of meter here. Let's see what he does with it. Didn't even really do that much damage for all that meter that he spent. You gotta, yeah. you gotta wonder about that. Yeah, I think it's gonna spend meter to have. If you're sitting on seven bars, right? You spend some meter. But if you're like three bars, four bars, yeah. you might want to conserve that. Never know when you're gonna need to vanish other corners. Exactly. Okay, so safely tightening the Goku back there. Useless! <laughs> Nice, uh, jump, nice jump on the command grab. <laughs> yeah, it's very tricky. Like, it, the start of his command grab looks the same as the Kamehameha. So he's like, oh, I want to block this. So I really like what he did there off the hit on the overhead. A lot of times, you know, you'll, you'll land that hit, you'll throw in an assist, and then you'll try to start trying to do stuff. He just went back to the neutral and then went straight for the dragon rush, right? Because you know he's going to yeah. be blocking up the overhead because it's not real. Right? No, he won't take advantage of that situation. Okay, so does he get a meteor off that? That can be useful. It's nice. Yeah, you should confirm that. And this, yeah, this won't kill. But uh, he's gonna get okay. Up text, but he gets it by assist. But that will. So if you're waiting on his last legs here, last character. Hopefully he actually gets the chance to sparking this time. Yeah, yeah. So she's sitting a four meter, and uh, Sega's sitting a one. So he doesn't need to actually sparking right now. So he can't kill off it. Wow, he does vanish, but gets hit by the cell beam. Is so active. Oh, right, nice job pushing him back. Yep. Uh, no deflections there. Just, just takes it. Ooh. Oh, good whiff on it. Saving her do it for a bit too long. Uh, he might be the kill off this actually. Yeah, I think yeah, he's in kill off this. He's oh, gonna DHT twice, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is some good synergy. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the thing is, uh, if you DHC three times, it does more damage in level three. So it's a uh, very good usage of meter there. Good. Like, if you can, you know, why not? Uh, especially, you know, if you're in a position like that. Uh, you was in the, just a, a lot went right there. Yeah. Uh, Glacier Rain goes down 2 nothing to Segatron. 